now we need to create uh, the uh, nginx web uh, container and please remember when we have to create a, a server type of container we need to run the container in daemon mode so in our case we have already pulled the image nginx which is based on alpine so what command we are going to run we are going to run this command docker container run minus d mean uh, run in daemon mode and we are going to name our container as web and then we are going to specify minus p option now what is the meaning of p e uh, now whenever we use any web server by default uh, web servers run on 80 port whether it is apache web server or nginx server uh, nginx web server or any web server they run on 80 port now please remember uh, when we are running this uh, 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 nginx container uh, uh, we need to expose that container port to our host system let us uh, may and uh, make you understand what we are talking so for uh, understanding this uh, 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 this uh, uh, container running in daemon mode we need to understand little bit net networking mode of uh, your docker so in our case uh, we have already said that uh, we have got three systems involved uh, kubernetes m kubernetes w1 kubernetes uh, w2 in which uh, all the system docker is running and uh, they are using a ram of 4 gb hard disk we have specified 40 gb and network adapter as a one as a nat another as a bridge that is the configuration now in our case uh, when we were experimenting we use this system uh, which is a kubernetes minus m and please remember the ip address of that system is uh, 192.168.142.132 uh, that means this is the ip address that had been given to this system basically it has got two lan cards one is uh, 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 we have configured as a nat and uh, that address is your 192.168.142 132 and another address we have given to this uh, second interface which is static in our case the address is 172.24.0.200 so in this diagram we have represented that uh, we have got uh, one uh, IP address available which we received by a, a, um, specifying the card as a net and uh, this is the IP address then second is uh, we got the static address we have given uh, 172.240.200 now please remember this is my laptop uh, i have written this as a window 10 laptop on which net is running so in this what i have done i have installed the vmware workstation and my this uh, centos vm is running that mean uh, when I have implemented the Kubernetes, I used the operating system CentOS and the version was 7. So, this is my VM CentOS 7 running. That means this address 192.168.142.132, it is the address of my CentOS 7 VM. That means on this laptop, uh, this VM is running. And please remember because we have specified the NAT so uh, from this machine I can go out and from this machine I can enter into this machine due to the netting facility now when we are going to run that container in our case what uh, command we have given we have given this command docker container run minus d name of the container is web and from which image we are creating nginx alpine image so when we are going to create this is the name of the container and from which uh, image we have created nginx so we are saying it as if this is nginx container the name of that is web and it will be allocated some address and uh, when we are going to see we will see that it has been allocated one address 172 20, uh, 17 and uh, 0.2 now that means in this laptop this centos is running 
from this we can reach this but from this we cannot reach here so what we need we need to make the relationship of this that mean from this centos we want to enter into this engine x container and by default when we uh, use uh, any web server image at port is used there that mean by default at port is there uh, will be exposed now uh, from this place we can go to this but we cannot enter this so what we need to do we have to create some tunnel between this container and this that is called port mapping so when we use the minus p option it creates uh, one uh, dynamic uh, port mapping that mean automatically it is going to uh, uh, open some random port on your centos vms so what is the advantage of uh, doing that that mean from outside what i can do i can type this command http 192.168.142.132 that mean this address and then i can specify the port 32768 when i am going to specify the traffic will go to this and from this to this that mean we will be able to assess our um, web server and uh, it is not necessary that uh, uh, for this purpose you have to use the window systems browser Uh, on centos also you can use uh, browser one uh, famous browser is available elinks you can specify elinks minus minus dum again you are going to get the web page so that mean randomly it has been so let us again discuss those command so what we specify we run this command so minus p capital p mean uh, dynamic port mapping or random Uh, port mapping we have done now when we are going to check the containers what is the command docker container ls and please remember when we are going to run this docker container ls it is just going to show you running container it is not going to show you the stop container and if you are going to run the command docker container ls minus a it will show both uh, running container as well stop container because uh, the, we created this web container in daemon mode that means it is running so we, because sometimes uh, hundreds of containers might be running so you can always send the output to a grep command which will search the output so here we are, uh, when we are performing this search we are getting this information that this is the id from which image and how much and here it is going to show you which port which random port it has opened on our centos machine so this is the random port so what we can do on centos machine what we can do we can run this command elinks minus minus dump http ip address of our uh, centos vm and the port of, of uh, that centos vm so what we'll do it is going to di display the default page which is welcome to nginx or what you can do you can use even local host also so we can uh, run this command elinks dump http local host it is visible again um, this is your uh, uh, you can check by this then what we can do we can docker container stop we can stop the container then we can remove the command so this was the networking that mean and uh, this one is your window 10 centos in which container is running which is very important understanding docker networking is very important how the things work sometimes we might want to do a, a fixed port mapping so again we can uh, create container in daemon mode but fix port mapping because what is the problem normally when we assess the web pages we do not uh, want to use uh, other uh, than that at port now here you are using uh, 32768 port and sometimes it might not open this port it could be 79 it could be 80 so what we want we want to have that mean this at port should be 
a, a related with uh, AT port on this. That means we want to fix the port here which is going to open. So for that what we have to do? We have to use this fix port mapping. So we need to make certain changes in the command. So what we are going to say? Docker container run daemon mode minus minus name web the name of container is uh, web minus p that means uh, make the relation of container port with the AT port of your host operating system in which our case is CentOS VM again the image is in next so it will again it is in daemon mode that means it is not taking us into interactive mode if you want to in interactive mode you have to specify minus i minus t then we can again um, list the containers we will see that container although no need for it because we have uh, here itself specified that a, a, a create the relation of AT port container port with the AT port of host port so this is mapping it is showing so again what we can do uh, we can specify e links dump now we do not need to specify colon at because if in, we are not going to specify by default it will uh, it will the the request will go to the it port so again we can stop the container we can remove the container so this was fixed port mapping so in fixed port mapping the, again the diagram is that mean at port we are doing the mapping so if from outside we are going to type this command 192.168.141 so by default the request will go to there from there to this so we will be able to assess the container now sometimes uh, uh, what was happening there it was showing one default page sometimes what we want we want to have the custom page so for that we need to run the command docker container run again in daemon mode name of container is web we want uh, this is the host port this is the container port we want uh, fixed port mapping then what we need we are going to put our data into some folder in our case uh, we will create some folder data we will create some custom page here then what we will do we are going to specify the command minus v minus v mean uh, mount this um, uh, folder which is in your host operating system to this uh, directory which in in your container so user share engine access because when we, uh, we use this engine x image by default the default page is in which directory user share nginx html directory so we are specifying that instead of using default web page what should you it should mount this folder with this way so whatever content are going to be in this folder our nginx is going to display that so that is how understanding docker so for that what we are going to do make directory data cd data then we are going to create one page create greater than index.html because whether it is apache web server in annex web server the first page name should be index.html so index.html we are going to put some data in our case welcome to custom page we will save this page we can check whether we have created the page perfectly or not then we have run that command that we discussed earlier then when we are going to say e-links dump what it is saying welcome to custom page even if you are going to specify localhost again then we are going to stop the web container remove web container now we do not need that data so what we can do remove minor rf r mean recursively f mean forcefully slash data but please uh, use this uh, very carefully so this is how this our container works so in our case we covered first a simple container in interactive mode then we check the connectivity between the both container then we started the container in daemon mode but we use the random port mapping then we use the fixed port mapping then we uh, 
uh, try to display the custom page for that uh, we discuss about the docker storage that mean uh, how to use um, the docker storage so for that uh, when we were assessing uh, the custom page was visible so now once this uh, docker is clear to us uh, then now we can easily move to our kubernetes concepts so first of all we are going to discuss why we need kubernetes what is uh, how th what is the difference between them and how they are related similarities and uh, what are the difference between the technology uh, how to link uh, docker with the kubernetes